And I remember going to my husband that night saying, if I can't even get legislative votes on the record, what am I doing here? And he said, then fight. So I went around the state of South Carolina, including Horry County, and said, did you know of all the bills passed in the House, only 8% were on the record? Did you know of all the bills passed in the Senate, only 1% was on the record? So if you didn't know how your House member voted 92% of the time, if you didn't know how your senator voted 99% of the time, then how did you know who to vote for when you got to the polls? Right. And the people of South Carolina were shocked. My third year, I was put on a powerful business committee. My fourth year, I was subcommittee chair of banking. Yes. Well, you would think, right? <laughs> but the year that I wouldn't put that bill away, they stripped me of everything. Oh. I could take the well, no one would hear me speak. I could sponsor a bill, no one would co-sponsor. So I ran for governor. <laughs> we, did, we did that together, and I was proud to say that one of the first bills I signed into law is now in South Carolina, anything debated on the floor of the House or the Senate requires a legislative vote on the record, and we took it a step further. We did it on every section of the budget as well. Yeah. 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 Money to Iraq that's holding hands with Iran that says death to America. We're giving money to Belarus that's holding hands with Russia. We're giving money to communist Cuba, which we said was a state sponsor of terrorism, yet we think we should give them money. And yes, we are giving money to China. Oh. There is no amount of money that you can use to buy friends. You can't pay off enemies. We have got to be smart in America. There is no more time that we need to be sending money to any enemies. It's weakness. It shows the United States to be oblivious, and we've got to make sure that we take care of the backs of our allies, but we never give money to enemies. So we've got to We're going to do it based on merit. We're going to look and say, what do our businesses need? What do we need that we're not getting? And you do it based on talent. That's how we do it. We're going to start being smart in America again. That's how we're going to focus on those things. President, either you do something or we'll do something about it. <laughs> and when it comes to foreign policy, we're going to understand who our enemies are. We're going to hold China to account. Yes. We're going to make sure that they understand they have had their way for too long. The problem is, Republicans and Democrats thought for too long that if they were nice to China, China would want to be like us. <laughs> narcissistic. China doesn't want to be like us. They want to be communist China. We need to make sure we build a strong military because a strong military doesn't start <laughs> Don't think that their kids will live a better life than them. That's not okay. We can't be okay with that. I'm not okay with that. And so there is only one solution to this. And that is, you have to elect a badass Republican woman. Yeah.